world economy poses us a riddle these days. Crises, sanctions, dropping oil prices and sluggish growth. And at the same time, nonetheless, a large number of data, a large number of news that do spread optimism. Oliver Raka from Deutsche Bank Research is here with me to clarify things, to straighten out things a little bit. Mr. Raka, let's have a look at the DBIX first that represents the economic mood in the four biggest economies in the world. What is the DBIX telling us? The DBIX has fallen slightly in November. Um, this has been largely due to moderation of sentiment in the United States. The ISM has fallen a bit, uh, but still on a high level. Otherwise, we did have a rise in the EFO index, for example, in November. But this came after six declines. And so far, we are still cautious to see this as a turnaround necessarily. Um, but all told, even Japan and also China have seen uh, robust readings. But all told still, um, the DBIX, um, as well as the individual indicators, point to moderate growth at best, unfortunately. Moderate growth. The stock markets don't really seem to care about that very much. The DAX was down at 8,400 just about six weeks ago. It's up at 10,000 points now. Similar story with, uh, with the Dow Jones in, in New York. Investors um, seem to be in an in a excellent mood there. How do you explain that stock market rush? That's due to several factors. Uh, the most important factors are definitely uh, central banks uh, and better growth data lately. For one, uh, there was a discussion about the United States um, and their central bank already rising, raising their interest rate early 2015. Uh, this expectation has been slowed towards mid-2015 by now. And so far, um, the stimulus is here to stay longer in the US. And in uh, Europe, we've uh, gotten increasing uh, expectations and hopes definitely uh, for the ECB to do even more, for example, doing uh, public QE purchases of uh, government bonds. All this added uh, to each other. And um, also we had kind of a growth scare in the course of Q3 uh, with weak uh, growth numbers, especially in Germany. Uh, this has um, weakened uh, sentiment on the uh, financial markets, but the latest data has been more stable, uh, partly positive, and so far uh, the DAX bounced back. We will talk about the world economy these days. Of course, we have to talk about the oil prices. Oil price is down, is still dropping, basically in free fall. Christine Lagarde, the IMF uh, managing director, is saying that a low oil price is not even such a bad uh, thing for the world economy. How do you see that? That's um, we agree. Um, we think that's definitely a growth upside for next year um, because it increases the purchasing power of uh, households, lowers uh, cost bases for a lot of companies. Uh, and so far, that might well be one of the positive factors going into next year. Um, on the other hand, you always have to keep in mind that a lot of countries are oil exporters and these might restrict their uh, consumption, their imports uh, and especially their investment. Part of that could be in the United States, where shale oil, shale gas have been an important driver of investment lately. If this uh, crumbles now uh, due to lower oil prices, uh, this might have at least a moderating effect on the positive um, real income effect. With the Eurozone, with Eurozone or Europe's growth, we need to be a little more patient. That is true. Um, we have seen an increase in growth, uh, finally positive growth numbers, middle of last year. Um, but growth has been weak, fragile, uneven, as Mario Draghi keeps on saying, and it's definitely true. Uh, there is no clear growth path ahead uh, for Europe yet. Um, some countries have found their turnaround, Spain, Portugal, Greece, all of them started growing again. But Italy and France are definitely lagging behind currently. And so far, uh, we are not really seeing uh, much better uh, growth prospects in Europe next year. It has indeed been quite an eventful year for Europe's economy. In our focus interview this month, we want to recap and to look back on Europe's economic year 2014. You can find that online on dwde English mate in Germany.